Let me show you how you can easily add overlays to your image in Photoshop. Let's get started. So this is the image I'm going to be working with. I'm just going to duplicate my layer by clicking on Ctrl J and just fix the background first. So I'll just come to my crop tool and just crop this image 4x5, which I like using. And I'm just going to rotate it to make the image look straight like this and click on content aware make sure your content aware is selected now after that i'm just going to fill this gap right here and to do that i'm just going to with my lasso tool i'm just going to make a selection of this part right here and also hold shift to add make a selection of this part right here what i'm going to do i'm just going to right click and just click on fill and use content aware to fill like that and click on ok and just going to fill the edge with content aware i'm going to click on ctrl d to deselect now next i'm going to do i'm going to separate my subject from the background i'm just going to select my subject and separate it from the background and to do that there are different tools which you can use to do that but i'm just going to click on this object selection tool right here and I'm just going to select my subject like this. Remember, you can use any tool to select a subject. You don't have to use object selection tool. Just use any tool that works for you. And make sure your selection is as perfect as possible. So I'm going to zoom in. And um, after making the selection, I'm going to see if the selection is perfect. So after making that selection, we are still going to refine the selection. What I'm going to do, I'm going to invert the selection whereby my background will be selected. And to invert my selection, I'm going to press on Ctrl Shift I. And right now my background is selected. I'm going to click on Ctrl J to cut out my subject from the background. So after I do that, what I'm going to do next, I'm just going to click on my subject layer. I'm going to rename this layer subjects and rename this one background for better understanding. So what I'm going to do next, I'll click on my subject layer and press control on my keyboard and click on my background layer and bring back the selection. Now I'm going to invert the selection again by pressing on control shift I to invert the selection so that my subject will be selected. Now what I'm going to do next, I'm going to add a layer mask to this selection. So what to add a layer mask, I'm going to click on this layer mask right here to add a layer mask to the selection. Now to refine my selection, I'm just going to double click on this layer mask and it's going to open to select a mask layer for me. So I'm going to zoom in and make sure my selection is perfect. And to do that, I'm just going to pick on this refine edge tool right here and just brush on the edges of the hair to make sure the hair is perfectly selected like that. So I don't want to leave any strand. I just want the hair to be perfectly selected. Okay, I think I got a perfect selection right here. I think the selection is looking perfect. So what I'm going to do next, I'm just going to click on OK. And bring this my background layer. Let me show this up. And bring this my background layer below my subject layer like this. Now what I'm going to do next, I'm just going to bring the overlay I want to use to this image right now. So I already have my overlay open. Uh, all overlay. So I'm just going to come to the folder which my overlay are and just uh, let me use this one first and see. And just slide it into Photoshop and just increase the um, size like this. Click on OK and change the blend mode to soft light. Come to my filter, come to my blur, come to Gaussian blur and just blur it with some um, radius of 4 by 5 and click on OK and reduce the opacity so you can see the before and after the before and the after if you are not okay with this overlay you can bring another one so i'm just going to add in another overlay like that um let's use let's use this one right here i want to drag it and paste it into photoshop and just increase the size again and just click on OK. Change the blend mode from normal to soft light. You can choose to turn off this first one. And you can see. And you can see the before and after. This one is looking good. 
so this is the before and this is the after you can choose to reduce the opacity and now comes my filter again just comes my blur comes my gaussian blur and just blow it to the so about six let's see six okay six works for me so this is the before and this is the after you can choose to stack overlay as many as you want to this image so if i own this first one you can see this one i can just reduce the opacity like this you can see it's still there okay i think i'm reducing the log opacity you can see i can just reduce the opacity you can see it's still there but the opacity is just low so you can choose to add in another overlay if you want so i'm just going to throw in um let's add this one right here we're going to throw in this overlay right here increase the size okay uh, i think i'm just going to increase so it can fit okay and just change the blend mode to soft lights you can see how good this is this is amazing and just cut my filter again just in concussion blur i just blow it like that let's use seven for this and just reduce the opacity if you want to like that so you can choose to stack up overlay as much as you want so let's see quickly see the before and after let me just group everything so you can see the before and after okay this is the before and this is after the before the before and the after so that's how you can apply overlay to your image in photoshop is that easy so let's do a quick recap if you want to apply overlay to your image in photoshop you first of all have to select your subject out of the background and make sure you have close to perfect selection after selecting your subject from the background just bring your overlay to photoshop and just drag it below your subject's layer and just change your blend mode to soft lights and with this opacity if you want you can choose to add gaussian blur if you want so that's how you can add overlay to your photoshop sometimes when we take pictures the background of our images look rough if you want to learn how to fix your background in photoshop watch this video right here i'll see you guys in my next video stay creative